Hey developer, welcome back to our map struct series. In today episode, we will dive into a real world use case of type conversion with map struct. We will use a simple order management example to demonstrate how map struct make type conversion easy and efficient. Ready to explore this powerful feature? Let's jump in. So first, let's create one entity class name as the order and let me put all this okay so now our order entity is created and now let's create our dto class also so that should be order dto order dto that so now we have order and order dto so in in this case if, if you will see that the amount is float for the entity we want to store in our db as a float and the date as a local date but in the order dto in payload we are passing this amount as a string and date as a string for the better readability in our api request and response so for that thing uh, how we can do that in a code if we will go normally if we will without using the map struct then our code will be very clutter so let's create a mapper now uh, the mapper name should be the order mapper it should be interface and here in in here we need to annotate this one as a mapper and inside it we have to provide the component model as a string and in the interface we have to create a two method first one two entity and the payload we have to pass that should be order dto and this method return type should be the order similarly we have to create a, another abstract method which should be a opposite of this method so that would be the order dto as a return type and to dto and here we will pass order entity and order entity okay what one problem is showing okay that is fine now we have to provide the mapping for our dto to entity entity to dto so first thing we already know that uh, we have to use mapping annotation here for this and here we have to provide our source which should be our order amount okay and the target target would be from the order dto in order sorry so this is amount okay go back there and target would be the amount similarly we have to create for the date also so let me copy this and uh, our order date this should be the closest uh, this should be the order date and this is the normal date in a date and here let me add for the 2 dto also so here we can see a little what they exactly want that was the old board so i clean that and issue was just okay so after the mapper we need to create our controller and our service to check this mapping but before checking that let me show you the target file uh target is not created let me run this install let me run this so here the target class will be generated and i'll show you the implementation of this mapping so here target is created and here in the class in the com and in the mapper the java puzzle mapper and here if i will open this order mapper impl so you can see we are firstly convert our string into a float and then we are setting this that is for the two entity and same we are doing for the parts for the order date we are setting and if you will see in the two dto you can see the default format is the iso local date and if you will open this and this is nothing but y mm td okay so let me start the application and uh, Oh, before starting, we need to create a controller. So let me create a controller. Order controller rest controller. Inside it, uh, firstly, I have to create a one post mapping. Post mapping with the parameter as the order. Then uh, just hold for a minute. Let me create a service first, and then we'll come back to the controller. So we have the clarity for this order service. 
and before the order service let me create a repository for the order repository so we extend the order repository with the jp repository and order jp repository and repository doctor not late repository okay so our repository is created now come back to the order service mark as the service and here let me auto wire the repository order repository okay then we need the mapper also so let me auto wire the order mapper okay now let's create one method let me enter so public order save order and inside it we are passing the order DTO the order DTO and here we will return our order repository dot save and here we can directly pass our order mapper dot to and t and here we can pass our order DTO how easy right okay now another method is public order to and this one get order by id should be a long type id and here we just have to return order repository dot find by id as the id here then we have to map map with the order mapper to dto and if there is nothing else no, no data then it will just return the new order dto so our order service is created now we can go back to the controller which is our last stop and here we will create we'll create a two method which just auto wire our order service and this is the two so we have a two method or we can say two param uh, two endpoint order with a post mapping where order dto as a request body and another is a get mapping and response is coming in a order dto so let's start our application application is up with 8080 so let's go back to the browser and we open the swagger here jua swagger ui index and in the order let me open this post and here try it out and if this id you don't need you can remove that order amount we have to pass we can pass anything as a string so 30,000 description java puzzle and order date here we need to pass in as a local one which should be the yymmdd so 0 11 15 okay uh, let me change it to 24 okay now execute it and here you can see we are able to get the result okay so now let me check the get also try it out pass the one execute and we are able to see that the response okay now the another thing if we have to change the format then how we can do that so let's go in a order mapper and if we want to change the format currently if i will open that so we can see the iso local date is the by default one and if i want to change the format so here we need to add date format and same we will add for this 2 dt all so now we change to mm to triple m in this case let's rerun the application and see that and here also impl also you will see here code is changed okay application up and i will refresh it so here this time i'll try it now and this time just remove this map struct series java puzzle okay this column one okay description jp and the order date here we have to change it to 24 no 14 execute it and here the issue came let me check oh my bad my bad order amount this description order amount we need to pass 50,000 and description should be this now let's execute this and here you can see we pass our date as a mmm triple m and we are getting the response in a double m so and let me check here also the id is 2 so here you can see we are getting the proper response if i will check for the one also which is the old transaction here also you can see the date. and that's a wrap on type conversion with map struct you have seen how effortless it is to handle real world data transformation 
using this amazing library so if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and share it with your fellow developers check out the earlier part of this series links are in the description below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one happy coding